Now, he's the fortune teller turned fortune stealer. When we exposed the so-called master, he promised to pay back thousands he took from a desperate mum. Now the master's performed a vanishing act. The good are on their way to see the bad about an ugly situation. Well, ladies, he can't predict the future, but a month ago I said that this would happen. I yes. predicted that he'd yeah. be closed down, didn't I? Yes. I'm sorry. He's obviously done a runner. He said he's the man of his word. Oh, indeed he did. Give me one month time, sister, I will pay back you. Whatever I want to give you. You will? Yeah. You will pay that back? She knows. Because you know what? She knows once I promise anything, definitely I will do. Valmiki Krishna is a so-called fortune teller and fortune stealer. They're coming and saying that my kids will be dead if I don't pay the money. As we told you a month ago, Punam is a hard-working single mother of three. After a recent car accident and divorce, she and mum Shakanda saw Mr Krishna's shop and for a bit of fun they got a reading to see if the future was looking better. We have to come and do a prayer for you, Punam. They said they got bad soul around them. It wasn't. Krishna and his assistant told this vulnerable mum an evil spirit was around them all, and she says they bled $21,000 out of her to get rid of it. For that, she got a sideshow of props and theatre, lemons, evil statues, and fake blood. And they said, you know, sell a jewellery. Sell your TV, sell your car. What is more important, money or your kid's life? Krishna denies he said her kids would die if she didn't pay. Never, no. never, never. Something evil is in your home. Funny thing, after that story aired, others came forward telling the same tale. Did he say to you your child and husband would die? Yeah, I, I will be mad and my son and my husband will be die. Krishna and his sidekick put on their cheap show in Sam Jana's bedroom. It's come from his mouth. He, but he that's was sitting not there. Blood. Yeah, it's not blood. And later on, but it's coming, maybe he put some colour in his mouth. Yeah, it's like a food colour. And ridding another vulnerable mother of an evil spirit so her family could live didn't come cheap. You gave him gold, silver, and how much cash? I gave him around the 28,000, 29,000 cash. Four weeks ago, Punam and I confronted him. I am Was it this man's face? Yes. And the master was keep asking me 21,000 because my kids' lives are in danger. Krishna says he can tell the future, but he's not so good at remembering the past. It I goes don't know. on with I, this. I don't know. After being pressured to hand over a total of $34,000, Samjana also went back to that shop with her camera and confronted Mr Krishna's assistant, who came to her home that day and was now trying to get more money from her, as that annoying evil spirit, he said, was still hanging around. $75,000. As we've told you before, these fortune-telling shops are all over Australia. We suspect they are centrally run, as they all have the same advertising. Our stories have even started to prompt viewers to confront these charlatans. You want a current affair for scamming people, for cheating people and scamming them out of their money, isn't that right? So when we all went back after a month... But I don't yes. want to make other people victim like me. Yes. The realisation of money lost was devastating. That's what they do. They take the money from you. Yeah. They take the money from you. Yes. And then they do the runner. And I curse my fortune telling abilities. And I will, I will be here. Television. I will be here. I will be here. You don't oh, want no, to no. be. Like Let's that. be honest, mate. You'll pack up there here and you'll be gone in no time. Local shopkeepers confirm the bad news. Maybe two weeks ago, he's a close. He closed it down two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah. No. Block. Nothing? Nothing. It's a block. All the numbers are disconnected. Disconnected. They tried desperately to contact his many numbers. I'm sad. <laughs> You're sad. I'm very sad. All we can do is keep putting his face on television. So if you see this low-life scumbag, Valmiki Krishna, drop us an email 
I'd love to pay him a visit. By the way, our ladies made their own visit when they left to the police, but were advised it was a matter for fair trading and not them. Nothing fair, it seems, about doing this to people. I can suffer myself, but I can't make me, you know, trouble my son, my husband. I can't do those things. It's a lot of money, isn't it? And both women tell us they're not hopeful of an outcome from fair trading. So it's up to you. If you see Mr Krishna, let us know and we will be out there to visit him in a flash.